Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it textbooks and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Solving of exponential equations uh, starts from your mathematics N2 it grows into n3 and then lastly you can also find not last as such but you also find these exponential equations in your mathematics n4 for example this is a an example from a previous paper it says you need to solve for x and what you're given here is uh, 5 to the exponent that is equal to 7 to the exponent that so that's why we call these exponential equations because they are equations that involve exponents. Now, how do you approach these at your mathematics N4 level? Now, the first part that you need to recognize is the bases are different. Now, we have got 5 here and the base here is 7. And then the most important thing there is to introduce lin. So, what you do, you just write your lin to say lin 5 to the power 2x minus 1 is equal to lin 7 to the power 3x plus 4 and by the way in as much as i say you can introduce lin some people want to work with logs you can also introduce logs to say log 5 to the power 2x minus 1 is equal to log 7 to the power 3x plus 4 whatever way you choose it will always be the same answer and then with that, what we need um, at this stage to do, you must, we are using the laws of uh, logarithms in which when you've got the power and the power drops down such that you will have your 2x minus 1 dropping down and then remaining with lin 5. And now this must be always in brackets. So that is how um, you use your lin same thing and you'll be having also 3x plus 4 dropping down and then you'll be having lin 7 so that is how um, the whole concept of introducing logs uh, changes the exponent um, to drop down so that it becomes linear at that stage you can now expand and then you're expanding that and that same thing here you're expanding that and that so you're opening bracket so that is uh, lin 5 times 2x you have got 2x lin 5 minus lin 5 which is 1 times lin 5 is equal to 3x lin 7 plus 4 lin 7 and then um, what you need to do there is to collect your like terms such that this grow goes to the other side and this goes to the other side and you are having your 2x lin 5 in this case and then minus 3x and lin 7 is equal to 4 lin 7 and then it becomes plus lin 5 so it is um, that which you are having and what you need to do in this case um, you can actually uh, factorize x there to say x is common and then you've got 2 lin 5 minus 3 lin 7 is equal to 4 lin 7 plus lin 5 and then 
Remember, you're simplifying, you're solving for x, you can divide by your 2 ln 5 minus 3 uh, ln 7. Again, your 2 ln, ln 5 minus 3 ln 7. And then when you do that to cancel, you are then going to have your x is equal to, and in this case, definitely you need your calculator to say, this is 4 lin, there is your lin 7. When it opens the bracket, remember to close it, plus lin 5. And then you've got your 2 at the bottom, lin 5. And then minus 3 uh, lin 7. So this is what we have. And then we write our answer, which is minus 3, comma five eight six seven if i want to leave it in three decimal places you say shift your calculator can round roll for you you press six there and then to three decimal places which is three comma minus three comma five eight seven this is rounded off to three to three decimal places now you with all the values of x, you can always prove if your answer is correct. So where there is an x here, we can actually use our minus 3, 587. And then even here, you can use my minus 3, 587. Let's try to prove and see if ever uh, we are getting something uh, that proves that our x is correct. So we are saying on the right left hand side it's 5 to the exponent 2 times minus 3 comma 587 now remember this is the right ra rounded off so it won't give you the exact values but it will give you some uh, answers which uh, are different with a few decimal places so with that if you say equal to you see I'm getting 1,934 is 1,935 times 10 to the power negative 6. So it's 1,935 times 10 to the power negative 6. I'm getting it on the uh, left hand side. Let's try the right hand side. Again, um, just so that we can see it clearly, 7 to the exponent. 3 and then it's in this case it is minus 3 comma 587 and then it's plus 4 if you do that you can again it's 1 comma 933 times 10 to the power negative 6 you can see this one now gives me 1 comma 933 times 10 to the power negative 6 you can see that these answers are almost the same they are very very the difference is very very small it means therefore your value of x is correct so that is how you should have solved it um, some people in this case just to say they prefer to convert lin 5 from this point they find the value of lin 5 to say here they are given lin 5 is equal to, they say 1,609. So they will change already here to have 1,609. And they find lin 7. And uh, with lin 7, It will give them 1,9459, which is 1,946 here. Uh, 1,946. So that now when they expand, already they're expanding a number. And then when they expand there, they're expanding a number. So it becomes easier to solve for x because already 
you would have converted that so it is another way that you could have used is still fine but at the end of the day it will take you back to your answer as x is equal to minus 3.587 i hope this was of benefit to you um, remember to uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to be notified of some future lessons that we're going to post in your mathematics and four or alternatively also if you want to leave us a comment feel free to leave us a comment or if there's some sections that you want me to cover for you and you've been struggling with uh feel free and i will be willing to help with gladness thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you